the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. most critical problems faced by police is that in which armed and desperate criminals are cornered but not yet captured. The highway patrol faced two such men. So precise was their split-second timing that in September and October of last year, the team accomplished eight daring major robberies. received at Highway Patrol Headquarters was quickly relayed to units patrolling nearby and to Dan Matthews and Sergeant Williams. Within minutes, patrol cars began to converge on the area. Cops! Already! We gotta get out of here. More of them! This way. Closing in on us, Steve. Yeah. I can't take much more of this running. I mean either. What's that, a hospital? Hey. Maybe we can take one of those cars. I'll see. Oh, yeah. It's too late to try for a car. What are we gonna do? I don't know. A chance to go very far on foot. This whole place is surrounded now. The men are moving in towards the center. Look, you go in over there. We're going in here. Watch yourself. They kill the cashier, they trip the alarm, and shot the watchman. They won't be easy. I know. Steve, we don't stand a chance out in the open like this. Yeah. We've got to get out of sight. Come on, we're going inside. Inside? Where? The hospital. We can lay low in the basement, maybe, until it gets dark. Come on.
Hey, you men aren't allowed in here. Then I think come over here. What is this, a stick-up? Yeah, risk him. You're making a mistake. There's nothing down here but machines. What do you want, anyway? Peace and quiet. Cooperate, you won't get hurt. Big one peep and I'll drop you. Anybody else do to show up here? No, except the night man, and he comes on duty at eight. It's gonna be dark by then. Go on over and sit down. We're gonna keep you company. Go on, get going. Let's see how we made off. I hope they started fine. I hope they started right here. Yeah, they're getting those big homes along Flint Avenue. It'll be kind of tough. Hey, here comes Larrabee. Something must be up. They've been spotted. They're in the hospital. Are you sure? A man at the holdup followed them when they ran. He kept them in sight all the way. You mean you saw him go in the building? And he came looking for us. I left him back there. Uh, we'll go over. You get some men around the building. Keep it down. Don't start a panic. Yeah. I'm going to find the doctor in charge. Keep an eye on things till Williams gets here. Right. This way they went in? That's right. Give it a couple of the back. Stay here. Mr. Matthews? That's right. The receptionist called, said you wanted to see me. I'm Dr. Potter. Won't you come in? Thank you. Doctor, we need your help. We're pretty sure there are a couple of killers hiding in this building. Here, in the hospital? Yeah, they pulled a robbery a little while ago. Killed one man and wounded another. They came through that grove in the back, around the side, and in the side door. But why here? Any port in the storm, they were cornered. What can we do? Look, Doc, we've got to find them. They're armed. They won't be afraid to kill again. Then you intend to search the building? That's right, with as little noise as possible, but we need your help. It's gonna be okay, Gabe. Yes? I'll send them in. Two of your officers are here. Oh, fine. Men are moving the position. Good. Oh, Doctor, this is Sergeant Williams of Patrolman Larrabee. How do you do, sir? Doctor. Doctor, our men have surrounded the building. There's one thing working in our favor. I don't think these guys want trouble. I think they want a quiet place to hide. Now, I think you and I ought to visit the wards. My men will check the basement. Good. You men will need a set of keys. No, no, that's all right. We'll just check what's open right now. If we don't find anything, we'll dig deeper. Now, look. We just want to find these guys. We want to fight them unless we have to. Have you got it? Okay, we'll be careful. All right. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Hey, you. All these gadgets working okay? Of course they are. How can you tell? Get over and check them. I don't want anything going wrong that might attract attention. What's the matter? Cops, two of them. There's another one. What are they doing? Just waiting. They were staking out the place. Get steamed up, bud. It's no help to you. How did they know we were here? Maybe they're guessing. Yeah, maybe searching the place. Take a look out in the hall. You tell Matthew. Don't make a sound. They bust in, you get it first. They see you? Yeah, we're in for it now. They can hit us from two sides. We can't hold out in here. Maybe a lot longer than you think. Well, there's still the surgery and laboratory. And the lab's a possibility. They're down in the boiler room. They know we saw them. Pass the word along. How many men you got in your boiler room crew? 
One man, the engineer, Logan. They're probably holding him as a hostage. From the hospital standpoint, they couldn't have picked a worse room. What do you mean? Well, it's called the boiler room, but actually it's much more than that. It controls not only heat and water, but the ventilating system and all our entire electrical power. They can cut off the oxygen tents, incubators. Why, they can do a disastrous amount of damage from that room if they discover it. They'll discover it. Matthews and men of the highway patrol studied the problem of capturing the killers cornered in the hospital boiler room. Steve Dorn already was planning how to exploit his capacity for destruction in a bargain for freedom. Uh, it's the patients I'm worried about. Some of the cases can't be moved. Even the noise of a gunfight could be dangerous. What about tear gas? No, that's out. The blowers are down in the basement. We'd have tear gas coming through every vent in the hospital. What's the worst that happens if the power gets cut off? Well, it depends. I've canceled all but emergency surgery. There's a boy in an iron lung. All right, get ready to put that on battery. Brief the rest of your staff. These two guys are trapped and they know it. You can't tell what they'll do. In retaliation? Why, they could explode the boilers. Can we turn off the fuel? No, there's a three-day supply held for emergency in a tank down there. We don't have to worry about that for a while. You guys take another look. Send for your doctors and nurses, will you? Jumpy, why don't they start? Because they don't know where to start, which is just fine. Yeah, I know, so is Johnson. All right, you put the men in position. Let me know when the stuff gets here. I'll be inside. Okay. Okay, what's this? Pressure. How long does it take to get it up to here? Can't get up that high. The safety valve opens. Suppose it gets stuck. Can't stick. Can't. I've heard of boilers blowing up. What's all that stuff over there? Switches, circuit breakers. Hey, you. They wouldn't want to see anything happen to you or all this, would they? Go on over and sit down. What are you after? An education? You can get us out of here without any bullet holes. You better ask those cops first. Don't tell those cops. We'll make a deal. A building full of sick people depending upon all this stuff and us in here ready to smash it all. They'll sit up and listen. Yeah, it might work. It will work. We need a floor plan on the boiler room. Oh, they got a phone down there? Yes, 118. In fact, I was about to suggest it. I felt that in their situation, these men might surrender if given the chance. They'll get a chance, but don't expect too much. What I want to get is a line in their thinking. Yeah. Never mind who this is, Mr. Highway Patrol. Just speak your piece. If the building's surrounded, you haven't got a chance to escape. For your own sake and the sake of a lot of innocent people, come on out with your hands up. Very touching. Now, you listen to me, copper. You and your men pull out of here. I mean all the way out. Then we'll come out. We'll have Logan with us, so don't try to follow us. First sign of trouble, we knock Logan off. That's my deal. And if I turn it down? You and all those innocent people you're so worried about will be real sorry. Take ten, copper. Tuck it over. got to agree to what they say. There's no choice. You don't make deals with guys like that. Even if you did, you still wouldn't save Logan. That's one person's welfare against all these others. At least they'd be away from the hospital. Look, doctor, they've got all the vital controls down there. Now, they may start blowing up things and endangering your whole hospital just to cover their getaway. We can't take that chance. Maybe we can fake it and make it look good. 
Well, the rifles are here. If they both come out of that boiler room at the same time, we can get them. All right, Ken, let's pull back. Maybe they'll take the bait. I told you, don't do that! Hey, Steve, come here. There was a cop by that tree all the time. He's gone now. Yeah, that one's gone too. And it's been 12 minutes. Maybe they bought the deal. <laughs> Didn't they tell you? Check the door. No one's come out yet. Okay. Nothing yet. There's nobody out in the hole now. They must have pulled out. Come on your feet. Time to take a little ride. Hold it, hold it. We all can't go at once. You wait here. come out so far. Look, there's an orderly. What's he doing out here? He's gonna get himself killed. Hey, you! Get back! Get back! It's a trap. There's a patrol car over in the trees. All right, move the men back into position. What's wrong? Looks like they saw us. They went back to the boiler room. See if they got that floor plan yet, will you? Call all units. Get them here in the double. You and Larrabee come in here. Well, it's wide open. Tie down the safety valves. There's no way to do that. You better think of a way, Logan, and fast. This time they'll know we mean business. All right, here are the boilers, right here. Power panels over here. Now, don't risk a shot too far to the left. That's all you have to worry about. Thanks. Say, what's this out here? Now, it's a pipeline of some kind. Of... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Take a look. It's a whole bunch of them. You got water power and the phone cable. It's the works right here. That sounds like a tunnel. It runs right from the boilers right out to the street. Take a look where it comes out in the boiler room, right here. Now, if we can get one of them to go to the phone... That'll be a shot for Larrabee. And if at the same time we can decoy one of them over toward this outside door, I'll be right behind him in the tunnel. Ken, you just volunteered. Yeah, I guess I did at that. I'll see if you can locate the manhole. I'll see what I can do from here. We're getting live steam from some of the hot water faucets. Help! There's a kid in an iron lung upstairs. They should have thought of that. Emergency generator? Yes, that's what it is, all right. They can knock it out any time they choose. We've got to get them out of there. Now, Doc, this tunnel. What covers this end in the boiler room? Can it be open from inside the tunnel? It's just a panel in the wall. I, I can't remember. Well, we're going to have to take a chance on it. See if you can find somebody who knows something about it, will you? Matthews. Listen, we're going to die anyway, so we intend to take along as many as possible. The boilers are going full blast and the safety valves are bolted down. It'll be a terrible mess when it blows, and it's your responsibility. you got a few minutes, copper, so think fast and call me back. We're about set. Larrabee's going to be on the other end of the line. I'll be here and you'll be in the middle. We're gambling you can open that panel from the inside. Well, I hope we're lucky. All right, you won't be able to talk in there. But tap on your mouthpiece when you get to the panel. Repeat when you see a target. Okay. You got that too, Larrabee? 
Ready here. Farabee, have you got an angle on that boiler room phone? How is it? Open and dead center. Well, I haven't heard from Williams yet. Stand by. Quick, they're going to deal. Hello. You win. Turn up the boilers. I pull all my men away. You're free. You can go now. We won't try and stop you. You tried to trap us before. How do we know you're telling the truth? Just take my word for it. Okay, take him and go check the door. Okay, downstairs. How is it here? No one complaint, an ulcer. She demands you stop cars from backfiring in a hospital zone. It's nerve wracking. Well, she's got a point. Tell her we'll work on it, will you? See Highway Patrol next week. Until then, remember, leave your blood at the Red Cross or your community blood bank, not on the highway. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.